Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to day three of Flossmas. Um, Stella is sniffing around because I just brought my food in here and just got finished. So she's smelling around. It's uh, chicken and I'm going to put Frank's extra hot red sauce on it or hot sauce on it um, because it tastes pretty close to his wing sauce, although it is a lot spicier, um, but I can't have his wing sauce because it has sugar in it. Um, anyways, Potter and Stella are just hanging out. Um, I am making just a quick update, basically a little kitten and Potter update, little Stella pot update. And, um, she's doing really good. They're doing really good. Um, she's a little food tired, um, and he's being just a good big bro. And, um, thank you, buddy. Um, so they're just hanging out here on the couch together and, uh, laying down next to me. And, um, anyways, I haven't been able to do any stitching. Um, last night's video went up really late because I really wanted to show y'all some stitching and I didn't get to stitch until later yesterday, but... Um, I didn't get to stitch on my lunch break today because I had to make a pumpkin cheesecake for work tomorrow. Our smaller group is having our Thanksgiving Christmas celebration, um, because this year all the smaller groups are doing it together instead of obviously a giant division Thanksgiving or Christmas celebration. So, um, so our, our tiny team is do we coordinated the secret Santa for our team and desserts. So I had to make that on my lunch break and then also went on a walk. So I didn't get to stitch any, so I don't have anything new stitching wise to show you, but I will tomorrow. And, um, otherwise work was kind of crazy today, like just busy. Um, but better than the last few days in some regards. Um, and excited about tomorrow. There's going to be like lunch and games and stuff. Oh, uh, he wants to go eat. Here you go. You want, you want on the blanket? Okay. So, um, Potter wanted to go get some food. <laughs> um, but anyways, as far as they go, you know, he follows her around sometimes. She follows him around majority of the time. He does still like that she has to be locked up every once in a while. Um, like if I leave the house or while we're sleeping because she's just so tiny. She weighs less than a pound. She's literally this big and um, she just needs to not be out and about while we're sleeping in case she falls heaven forbid she's like able to get up on something and then falls off of it and hurts herself or gets stuck behind something and is back there for hours like while we're sleeping um and so because I most of the time hear things while I'm sleeping but I don't always so I just don't want to take a chance and if I'm not at the house and something happens so she gets locked up every once in a while but he, like this evening, I left her door open while she was eating and he went and laid in there and watched her eat. And so he's, he's being very protective. I think she's in a little bit of a food coma right now. She looks very sleepy and very tired. Her eyes are very heavy right now. You're doing okay though, huh? Say, I'm doing good. Big brother loves me. Yeah, he does. Um... But for the most part, I kind of let her wander around most of the day um, because I can I can typically like hear about where she is and I know that like he's like hanging out with her and they play and stuff. Bud, come here, buddy. You want to come back over here? I think he wants to go and hang out in his room by himself for a little bit. Um they've been like that for about 45 minutes. So, um, again, he needs a little bit of a break. Um, but otherwise they're doing good. She's 
completely using a litter box now. So I had to get a handy foil thing for like a casserole or like a lasagna or something or a pasta dish or whatever. It's like an inch and a half deep. Um, those little like foil, like bacon takes that you don't have to clean. Um, I make, I made that into a makeshift kitten litter box because I could not find a short litter box anywhere. Um, and she wasn't going on the pee pads anymore. She's going just to the side of them because she wants to be using a litter box. So I had to figure out a way to make her one. Um, and if we're in the living room and if she needs to go, she'll like stand and look at his and cry. And if I put her in, she'll go to the bathroom and she can get out. She just can't get in. She has no oomph behind her jumps. Um, so she can get down from places um, or out of like certain places like the litter box, but she can't get in them. <laughs> She can get down off the bed, but whenever she can't get back up, um, because she, she can't get up the stairs, but she can get down the stairs, she just stands there and cries. So, um, you know, some of that stuff will come as she gets bigger, but she is learning the stuff that she can do now. She's really pretty smart. Like she knows where her food is. She followed me while, uh, she followed me from the bathroom to the kitchen for me to make her food. And then whenever I was done, I was walking it back. She was sleeping. And I, before I knew it, she was halfway down the hall whenever I was like putting it on the ground. So she very quickly understood oh, she has my food. I'm going to follow her. Um, and currently, uh, probably in like two to three weeks, I will keep her food near his, um, because that's where her food bowls are going to end up being. Um, but right now she is a kitten, so she gets hungry throughout the night and stuff, and I'm not going to lock her away from getting her food. So, um, it all is in the bathroom with her right now. Um, but, but yeah, she's really sleepy today, but that's okay. They've been playing off and on today. Hey, I've had a busy day. I've just eaten food. I'm, I'm sleepy again. Um, but that's pretty much the only update that I have for you guys. Um, tomorrow I will have stitching because I'm going to work on the flamingos tonight. So I'm going to eat my dinner. Um, and then I'm going to stitch for a little bit, do my workout, take a shower and then stitch some more. So tomorrow y'all will get a better video. Um, and so uh, yesterday was just kind of like weird and kind of threw off the whole thing because I didn't get to stitch at lunch today. So I just don't have stitching to show you today, which it may happen again, but I think that y'all all are enjoying the kitten updates, um, as far as Stella goes and the Potter updates with how he's taking his little sister, um, and handling it. And I think He's doing really well. It's been less than a week and he follows her. Like I said, she follows him um, and he's being very kind to her. He does still like that she gets put away. I will say that. He does still like that he gets a little bit of alone time, but who wouldn't, right? But that's pretty much all that I have for y'all today. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow on day four of Flossmas. Bye guys.